Hi everyone, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics and I'm here today to talk to you about candles. Now listen, these are my favorite candles. People call them intention candles, purpose candles, um, attraction candles, and other people call them spell candles. Whatever it is, I want to show you today my favorite candles to use to attract anything in your life. Now listen, I want you to watch this video all the way to the end because you guys know I love to throw in some extra bonuses. But before we get started, if you're new to this channel, this is the Law of Attraction metaphysical channel that gives you manifesting techniques all in one place. Now, it doesn't matter if we're talking about affirmations, scripting, prayer work, candles, everything is right here. So support this channel by liking, subscribing, and tapping the bell. Now, if you want to know what are my favorite candles, and I got that little extra bonus for you, keep watching. I'm back, everyone. Now, what is it that I have to tell you about intention candles, prayer candles, um, attraction candles? Listen, I love my candles, but before we get even started, I want to make sure you guys understand, I don't leave candles burning alone. Let's mm, rewind. I don't leave candles burning alone. Now listen, there are all different types of candles. We have these little tapered candles and they're 50 cent a piece. Now I would say this is probably one of my second favorite candles to use. Now why? It's because these candles here will burn out within 30 minutes. So if you're doing a ritual where you're doing prayer work, or maybe you want to do burn a candle while you're scripting, these would be the candles I would use. Now, what is my favorite candle that I love to use? And I show you guys it all the time. Listen, it's Leilokin's Awin Intention Candles, okay? You can use these candles for anything. Now, the reason I use this candle, this type of candle, is because it burns out very quickly, okay? Now, this burns out in about two hours, two and a half hours, maybe three pushing it. This one burns out in about 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes. The reason I use these candles is because, again, I don't leave candles burning alone. So a lot of times when you burn these type of candles, you got to snuff them out. You don't blow them out, people. Again, this is a tip. You snuff it out. So now, why Leilokin's Awin? It's because it's made of 100% beeswax, everyone. So it's very pure. At the same time, it is already programmed to do whatever it is you, you bought it for. So this one right here is a wealth candle, okay? This one right here is a love candle. I have one here for success and prosperity. I have one here for healing. Okay, I have one here for balancing, working within. I have one here, I think, for clearing. Okay, we, I have another one for protection somewhere around here. Yes, I do. So these candles, not only are they 100% pure beeswax, but they're already programmed to do whatever it is it needs to do. At the same time, you can also anoint it a little more. And I'm going to get into that because that's another tip, you guys. So please keep watching. So now, a lot of people don't know how to burn these candles. Now, when you burn a candle, you always place it in something that is going to be protected. You never burn it on anything that is not protecting your furniture or anything. So I place it in one of these little dollar um, glasses that I get from the dollar store. Whatever it is that I have, but I make sure I put it in there. Not too big because you want to main, you want to hold in that candle as it gets lower. Now, the other thing is when you are using one of these candles, even though it's already programmed to do whatever it is it needs to do, you still have to program it for whatever you want it to do. Now, what would I do with this candle before I start to burn it? Again, this is an extra tip. I would hold this candle in my hand and I would think, visualize, or say an affirmation of whatever it is that I want. This is a wealth candle. So you might very well say something like, money comes to me in expected and unexpected ways. Money comes to me on a continuous basis. Thank you, universe. Thank you, God. I know this is already done. 
Just that simple. And you will then place it in something and burn it. Now, a lot of times, people, I like to match and I might burn a little bit of it at the bottom. Stick it in there so that it don't move. Then I will light the, um, light the wick. When you burn these candles, remove all types of paper and plastic off the candle. This is a must, everyone. And then you're going to burn. Now, these particular candles, you have to be careful. The wick is very small, okay, as you see. And when you burn it, it's going to go down, but it's going to continue to burn. I'm telling you right now, let it burn, okay? And then you're going to put it here and you're going to let it burn. As this candle is burning, you're going to continue to sit in front of it. And you're going to do scripting, you're going to do visualization, prayer work, whatever it is you want to do as a technique while this candle is burning. Again, we want to make sure this candle is totally programmed to do whatever it is that it needs to do. The next thing I would tell you is, please, let it go. Let it go, people. Don't try to figure out the when, what, and how things are going to come. Just let it go. Know you already placed your order with the universe and allow it to be. Again, you can also use these candles, which is my second favorite because they burn out in 30 minutes. And listen, you would do the same thing with this candle that you would do with the other candles, okay? It's just that it burns out quicker. Now, as a bonus, what else would I do with these candles if I had them? Now, the next thing I would do with Leilokin's Awins, and again, if you want any of these things, please look in the description. Everything is there. I have a link going to the store and you are welcome to purchase this. Um, is I will anoint it with whatever it is that I'm trying to do. So now, hey, look, maybe you're looking for, maybe you have a court case from an accident or a court case from something that happened to you and you're in litigation to receive some money, okay? I would anoint it with court oil, okay? And I probably would use, hmm, I probably would use success, a success candle. I might would use a protection candle, okay? I might would use these type of candles while I'm going to court and I would anoint it with um, court oil. Let's just say you have a business and you're trying to um, make it better or move on and, and make it the best that you can make it. I would use actually a better business candle. Yes, we got that candle too. And I would anoint it with money oil or I would anoint it with better business oil, wherever it is, better business oil, okay? So when I anoint something, I don't pour a lot. I might put a little on my hand, rub it together, and then I will rub it on the candle facing me, everyone, because you want something to come in. If you're in court and it's something that you're trying to keep away from you, I would then use the court candle, the protection candle, everyone, protection candle, because you are in court because somebody's coming at you. And then I would use the court candle, I mean the court oil, okay? And I would roll it on there away from me, okay? Because I want whatever's coming at me to go away. Listen, you guys are getting information that you will not get anywhere else. So again, please like, subscribe, tap the bell, and also watch more videos because this is free information and it could very much be a book. Now, let's just say you're looking for the love of your life. I would use the love candle, the love oil candle, and I would use love oil. And what I would do again, I would take, a, take the top off, do that, take it back. That's all you need. And I will rub the oil on the candle facing me. At the same time, make it an affirmation such as, thank you, God, for blessing me with the perfect mate. At this time, I have the perfect person in my life. I am happy. He's happy. He respects me. I respect him. And I thank you so much. This is now done. I place my order and I love you, God. I love you, universe. I love you, my higher self. Whatever it is you want to say. And then you will sit there and light this candle. Now, again, if you're doing something because you feel like you got a lot of negativity around you and you think you feel like you need some clearing, I would then use a clearing candle to clear my house, to clear myself. I might even take this candle and take it around my body, 
okay? As I pray and say, thank you, God, for blessing me with clearing myself from all this negativity, allowing me to live my life and allowing me to keep moving on without this negative cloud around me. God, I thank you. Universe, I thank you for whatever is around me is now gone. I might use this. I might use holy oil, holy oil, and rub that on the candle to cleanse myself, protection oil, whatever it is. Listen, you guys really need to be creative with this and let your mind take you whatever you want to do. There is no wrong way of doing this. Now, to add in an extra bonus for you guys who are still here watching this video, you can always write on a piece of paper whatever it is that you want, okay? You might even use the rest of the oil that's on your hand and pat it on there. Then you want to, as you burn in your candle, you might want to place this paper underneath the candle, okay? Again, this burns in about three hours, no more than three hours. I would say about two and a half hours. So while you're doing this, you can do your prayer work, scripting, whatever, and then after it's over, after it's over, or after you're finished doing whatever you want to do, stay in the room with the candle or take the candle with you and clean your house, do whatever you need to do, play some music, watch some TV, but keep that candle near you so that you can watch it. And then as it burns out, you can take whatever's left and you can throw it out, okay? It is just that simple. So you can use these candles while you're scripting, while you're doing prayer work, mirror work, affirmations. You might wanna burn it while you're sitting there watching TV, whatever it is, but I need you to stay positive during this time and allow it to do its job. Again, these are Lelokin's Awins and you can get them in my shop. The link is in the description and these are some of my favorite candles. Now, coming along with these, I have also Lelokin Awins oils that actually goes along with the candles. But you don't have to do that. You can better just use what you have. So again, there's so many things you can do. But right now, I just showed you guys my favorite candles and as a bonus, told you what I usually do with it. So again, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, always giving you guys information that you can use that will change your life. Again, the best thing you could do for me at this time is watch the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, tap the bell. Okay, again, if you need anything, if you want to know anything more about My World of Metaphysics, Everything is in the description. I have to sign out right now and namaste.